Hello, it's Gameli, Revitunes.com. Uh, this is a tutorial of designing file protection system. This is uh, lesson number one. So, very first thing, let's do a, this link an architectural file in a blank file. This is a blank file. I'm going to create another one since the beginning. So, let's say a new file, new project. Then this window comes, it says choose a template, it says just template file with. So let's choose it, and I choose mechanical, because we are doing a fire, fire sprinkler system. Say OK. So you will come to this level 1 automatically, and if you see where my mouse is, it's uh, created uh, two floors, mechanical floors, and the discipline is right here. Discipline mechanical. So I'm going to browse the architectural file. So let's imagine uh, uh, you have already a building from the architect. So you go to insert, insert Revit link, and I have uh, in certain folder already a file. So. I have this training folder, architectural office building. And before I, I just highlight it, I want to remind you it's like in any software you choose where to insert it. I I always prefer to choose origin by origin. It's by default center by center, but origin by origin. And we could talk about this more, what options do we have and why to choose center to center or origin to origin or uh, how to decide this so right now it's different purpose of this video so I'm going to just choose origin to origin automatically origin to origin so say open so notice that it comes to level one so if you see level one mechanical level two those floor plans are, are from the template that we use mechanical and uh, notice that it's gray out so first first thing i always do is i highlight it i go to properties and i i say this that create room boundaries is because sooner or later I need reference of which name is each each room and I could drop a tag but if I don't have this check this property checking um, then uh, it wouldn't read rooms so what it does is is where wherever is a, a wall it create a line that divide by rooms and you could read room names so anyways uh, I have my linked file so if I go to 3d is gray out every floor is gray out because I use a template mechanical now don't panic on that you could always convert it a uh, different discipline right here is the discipline so notice if I choose to architectural it's not gonna be gray out anymore the architecture However, if I use uh, insert a plumbing file, it might be gray out the, the plumbing file. Uh, uh, you have another option, which is coordination, is the last one. That will remove the gray out of any discipline. If you bring electrical, structural engineering, nothing will be gray out. And normally for general contractors, we will use coordination models where we assemble together every discipline. So. I'm going to leave it in mechanical because I want gray out the architecture and notice that each view is affected independently. I could still have the three dimensional in architectural mode or, or coordination mode and when you switch to level one it's still gray out because it's independent property for each view. Now um I was gonna say I'm going to work in mechanical mode because I want my piping to be dark black and identified faster than 
if if everything was the same color or darkness it will be harder to identify so I want to say a few more things about the linked file after you insert a linked file there is a, a, a button here in in modif in manage that is called manage link so you will see right here is the file that we link so if for whatever reason you move this file you will lose the path of this link you could always come back here let's say I, I lost when I opened this file it didn't find my link file you could always come in to manage manage links you touch the file you if you hit reload the link file has to be in the same path that is but if it was moved from the path you go reload from and you look again you browse to the new path and look for the same file and, and you say open again and you say ok again and it will reload it again uh, it is important to know where how to reload the linked files because many times uh, when you move especially if you are working in a server you move some uh, folder you lose the path so uh, I just wanted to say that now by default we don't have a file protection pipe so we need to create this type so the way you create is in this part where you have uh, two windows uh, property windows and project browser right here scroll down and you will see in the bottom legends, the schedules, sheets, and then families. Click on the plus sign, and then you will get all the families existing. So look in the P for pipes. Notice you have pipe fittings, pipes, pipe system, plumbing fixtures. So pipes, and then in pipes you have pipe types and by default exists PVC and standard touch standard click on top of it and right click and say duplicate this and remember when you duplicate it will call it standard 2 so if I if I double click it will open this and I could rename it I I think another way to rename it, I'm going to close this, I believe if I right click uh, and rename, I could right click and rename it right there as you see or I could just double click and rename it, I'm going to double click and right here, I have it right here, this is the new one, rename it, so this will be fire protection wet. wet system so before I create another type right here let's put a material to this one material carbon steel so now since this type already has assigned that material now let's duplicate and notice that it will put the same name but the number 2 Fire protection wet, wet two, and I will change it to dry. Fire protection dry. So we have two types, and, and I can see the new types here: dry and wet, and the old types that we already had by default was PVC and standard. So say OK and you have those two types already now since we have the two types let's go to this parameter right here on the manage MEP settings mechanical over here is dock conversion pipe settings pipe conversion so here we are going to do the default f values when you create a system of fire protection. We want the main pipe 
by default always to choose in this case we are going to do the wet system so fire protection wet so we are saying when when we do the main pipe for the fire protection wet choose this type the pipe we created fire protection oh this one fire protection wet and we are saying by default always put it nine foot above the f whichever level we are working in floor one floor two floor three whatever it will be nine foot above so we are assuming the ceiling is eight foot ceiling and our pipe nine foot high now for branches also we are we are going to s do the settings for wet system and for wet system we are going to use wet pipe and nine foot offset so we say we have settings for main wet or in branch wet system we, ha we have selected the setting say ok now using exactly the same the same uh, way we cre we modify these settings let's modify the other one manage settings mechanical now in conversion in main let's work on dry system so notice when you change from dry to wet these values are different that's the one we already fixed and this is uh, oh sorry dry so let's put some values on dry we want to use dry fire protection dry and nine foot also for branches we are going to set up the dry system and we wanted to use dry pipe and the offset stays the same say so, okay so we have applied settings to this type and this type both types now before I continue I'm going to say these spaces or rooms each room has assigned something that is called in Revit MEP spaces it's different room name that space name so in the analytical analyze right here the analytical tab right here there is a button called spaces notice that when I click here you will see that this already has assigned the spaces so it was previously done and right now I'm not gonna take the time to do it and explain this because this will be part of the basic MEP setup uh, tutorial but I just I want to uh, uh, mention that those spaces were previously created so when when you use that tool you you click on each room and anything that is enclosed by walls and ceilings and floors will create one space it's similar to room but uh, the space is more analytical for for MEP and the room is for architectural so if you use the architectural Revit architectural or the architectural tab you see rooms and and notice that when I go close to one of the rooms it gives me the option to create a room but I'm not going to create it right now I'm just showing a similarity of a tool anyway so the spaces are already created and just watch the video tutorial it will be just couple or two or three videos that is to set up an MEP file to begin any design either mechanical electrical or plum plumbing I'm going to I'm going to stop the video right here so it doesn't get too big so this is video one again and this is Gameli revitunes.com